folks, how you doing? How are you all doing today? We are taking a look at the Mira Safety CM6M Tactical Gas Mask. This has a big, wide, full-face uh, visor, which is going to be really good for use with weapons and give you really good peripheral vision. This is a very nice mask. Uh, the back, where it goes on, has nice mesh fitting, so your hair will breathe. We have a six-point harness. So you're going to get a nice tight seal. We have our drinking canteen attachment and valve right here. Uh, this is, it takes a standard 40 millimeter NATO filter, ambidextrous. You can put it on the left or the right side. Uh, when you, if you're not using that side, it comes with an included block off. You're going to put that in there if you're not using that particular side. Okay. Now you can also remove this and run dual filters to get twice the airflow. Because any gas mask, no matter what kind it is, unless you're using a powered uh, air unit, which I'll put on screen right here, unless you're using one of those, you, you, it's, it is taxing to breathe. It's uh, everything you do requires far more effort and exertion for even the most basic simple tasks. So if you do, if you're not using this in a tactical role or you're only using a sidearm, dual filters is definitely a good way to go. Uh, you'll you'll get much more airflow and it'll be much easier to breathe. Uh, of course, the ultimate is the uh, popper device, the uh, powered respirator. But this is a very simple, easy gas mask to use. I'll don it here and show you all how it works. So you're going to put now. You're supposed to shave your beard anytime you're wearing a gas mask. Some gas masks, like their CM8M, will seal no problem. Uh, with a beard. I've done it. I have it. I've tested it. I'll put a link on the end screen to that full review. But we're going to see if this one seals up with my goatee here. So you're always going to start by putting your chin in first. So here we go. We're all readjusted. We're going to put this on chin first. Pull the harness down tight over the back of your head. Grab the straps. You want to make sure all the straps are nice and tight. You want a nice tight fit. You don't want it loose. Now, of course, you're going to want to have this pre-adjusted so that if a disaster happens, you're not screwing around with all this. Okay. Now to seal it, we're just going to hold our hand over the filter and breathe in and you should feel a suction on your face. And this is sealing no problem, even with my goatee beard. Yeah, I got a really good seal on this. And as you can see, we have the tin advisors on these. These are sold separately, but they work great. I have excellent sight lines all the way out to here. So I have probably 150 degree field of view. I can see great. We have here a uh, BCA 878 11.5 inch upper. I'll put a link in the description for this as well, but let's see if we can shoulder it and, and acquire our red dot, or rather our uh, LPVO. Yep, no problem at all getting a sight picture on us. So you have to cant the rifle about 15 degrees, and you can get it quick too. So definitely compatible with this. Very nice. Uh, no problem at all mounting it. In different positions. Yep. Super easy. Works really, really well with this. And as you can see, it certainly looks fantastic. I am styling for sure. Impressive. Most impressive. But even here today, it's about 86 degrees and very humid. But it's a, it's, a, it's a chore to breathe just standing here talking to you folks. That's the nature of any gas mask, any gas mask. So if you can afford one, I highly recommend either a second filter, which will make it only compatible with sidearms, 
or the papper unit, the uh, respirator unit. That blows nice, fresh, steady supply of fan-driven dri air into your respirator, and that makes it so much easier to breathe. That makes these much, much better. They work great with that. Okay, so let's take this guy off. Let's see if we can hold this up. And you can see my face is red just from being in there for a couple minutes. Let's uh, put this up over the camera lens and see if we can't see what we see through here. And that's what you're going to see in here. Get a nice wide peripheral view. So this is excellent. I have the CM8M also, as I had mentioned. And that one gives a really good view, but I think this one gives an even better view. And come on, you look like Darth Vader with this thing with the uh, tinted visors, which I also highly recommend. And uh, you can see right here is your um, valve for your drinking water. And the hose is right here. You just lift this right off. Pop the lid, and this will attach right to the canteen, which is included. It comes with a uh, one liter can or one quart canteen in the package. So this is a very, very nice gas mask. I'll put full specifications on the screen right here. I'm going to say, having reviewed both the CM6 and the CM8, I don't think you could go wrong either way. It's just a matter of what is your preference, individual eyepieces or one big visor, you know. You also have a voice projector right here. This will amplify your voice so you can be heard by teammates, loved ones, family members, you know, citizens, civilians, that sort of thing. In case you're in law enforcement or something, you're giving out orders. But this is very nice. And here is the nozzle inside the mask. And you're going to clip that right between your lips and suck and you'll drink through your drinking straw that way. But very, very cool. All right, folks, thanks for watching our review on the Mira Safety CM6M Tactical Gas Mask. I uh, really hope you found it informative and enjoyable. Y'all have a great day. Freedom by me. Out. This is the end, beautiful friend.